Hey Book Dragons, welcome back to the channel. I'm so glad you're here with me today. I love to laugh, and I love books that make me laugh. And so I thought it would be a cool idea to share with you some of the best comic relief characters that I have read in fiction. And of course, this is highly subjective. Not everyone has the same sense of humor that I do. Not everyone laughs at the same things. So just be aware that characters that make me laugh may not make you laugh. And characters that make you laugh may not be my type of thing. So this is a very subjective endeavor. The kinds of humor that I like are dark humor, gallows humor, pervy humor, and dad humor. So if something falls into one of those categories, it's probably going to make me laugh. Sometimes it might make me cringe laugh, but it's still going to make me laugh. <laughs> so there's a few of those on here. Uh, so we're going to get right to the list. I'm going to put my eyes on here. And I'm going to start with a couple of honorable mentions. The first honorable mention is a whole book. And that would be Good Omens by Terry Pratchett and Neil Gaiman. And this book is just intended to be funny all the way through. It's British humor and satire. It pokes fun at religion and a whole bunch of other different things. So if you like stuff like that, religious satire, you're going to love Good Omens. So it's an honorable mention on here because it's not just one character in that book that is funny. The entire book is intended to be funny. And, and it is. It succeeds at what it sets out to do. That goes on here as an honorable mention. The other honorable mention that I put on here is The Fool from The Realm of the Elderlings by Robin Hobb. He is a very funny character, although he's not necessarily intended to always be funny, but some of the things he says will really make you laugh out loud, think silly thoughts, and at the same time ponder things deeply. And I love that his humor can kind of help you do that. So I put him on here because he's not necessarily intended to be a comic relief, but sometimes he ends up being a comic relief. So that's why I put the fool on here. And now we're going to get to my list. And this is in no particular order. I have not ranked these. These are just characters that tend to really make me laugh a lot. And I feel like they are really intended as comic reliefs as much as they play other roles in the books. So, the first one on this list is Bob the Skull from the Dresden Files. <sighs> Bob holds a very special place in my heart. Bob is a demonic familiar that Harry has won over to his side, and Harry has now become his master in a sense. And Bob lives in a skull. Just that alone is humorous. But the things that come out of Bob's mouth, when he's not being helpful to Harry, the, the things that come out of his mouth are, are just absolutely hilarious. Bob is a perv. He loves women. He loves looking at women. He loves thinking about spending time with women, if you get my meaning. And he's very crass and full of innuendos. Bob can find anything to turn into an innuendo. And Bob often incorporates very dark humor as well. So Bob kind of ticks all the boxes for me. He's one of those that makes me cringe sometimes as I laugh. You know those times when you're just like groaning and you're like, <laughs> that's funny, but in, in a really bad way. Uh, it, it, he's one of those characters, and so I just absolutely love Bob the Skull. Anytime I can read him on the page, I just end up laughing so hard sometimes. And so, yeah, if you've not read The Dresden Files, you really need to. And if you do the audiobook, James Marsters does the voice for Bob the Skull and for Harry and the rest of the cast as well. But the, the way he does Bob is just priceless, so... I highly recommend the Dresden Files. 
All right, so we're going to move on to the next on this list, and that, guys, would be San Danglocta from the First Law Trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. Glockta has been a favorite of mine ever since the first time I read a sentence from him. The very first time I was introduced to him, way back in the blade itself, and he made a comment about all the stairs that he had to climb, I was instantly in love with Sandan Glockta's character. I, I just, I was sold right from the get-go because the way he is written and the, the inner monologues in this guy's head are just really funny and darkly funny sometimes. I mean, he will be thinking about how he might get in trouble for some of the things he's doing and he'll just rattle off something in his head about somebody finding a body down by the river. And Glock just talking about himself being the body that was found down by the river because one of these days he feels like he's going to get his comeuppance. And it's just super funny. He makes jokes about all his aches and pains because he was crippled in the war. And so, I mean, you talk about gallows humor and really dark and depressing moments in his humor that just make you laugh so hard. So... Uh, I highly recommend the First Law Trilogy by Joe Abercrombie. You need to check out San Dang Locked if you've not already experienced him. And uh, yeah, guys, that, that's all I have to say. So the next character on this list is Wayne from Mistborn Era 2. And I honestly don't remember Wayne's last name. I, I really don't. So I'm just going to go with Wayne. And everybody knows who Wayne is. And Wayne is one of those characters that you either really like him or you really hate him. For some reason, I never heard anyone who came down in the middle when it comes to Wayne. I've either heard people talk about how he's the worst character they've ever read or he's the best character they've ever read. And guys, for me, I land in the solid best category. Wayne just does it for me. He's another one of those that has dark humor and makes all these really corny jokes at times and dad type jokes. He's got a pervy side to him as well. Just potty humor, he's, he's just, He's loaded with it, and he's really good at self-deprecation as well. And Wayne's had a really hard life, so a lot of his humor has come from the fact that he figures he either has to laugh or cry, and he chooses to laugh and to make other people laugh. And the shenanigans he gets up to, sometimes I was just, I was dying so hard from laughing. Uh, I, I highly recommend Mistborn Era 2. It's a great series, and Wayne is a superbly written character. One of the best comic reliefs I have ever read in fiction. I kid you not, one of the best. All right, so we're going to move on to Carrot from the Discworld series by Terry Pratchett. Carrot is a human, but he's been raised by dwarves most of his life, until his parents finally decide it's time for him to go into the real world of humans and kind of be with his own kind. And he becomes part of the City Watch. And he's just so humorous. He is a very rules-driven guy. Everything has to be by the book. And he's memorized the book backwards and forwards, and he can recite it to you. And he's a very literal type of person, so if you tell him to do something, he's going to go literally do it in the manner that you told him to do it. And it's just so funny to see some of his shenanigans, and also to hear some of the things that come out of his mouth. Because, you know, he's been sheltered most of his life, guys. He was raised by dwarves. He doesn't know what goes on in the human world. And as he goes on, he gets more used to it, right? But, oh, man, it, it's so funny. Carrot is just a great character. And I have not loved everything that I've read in the Discworld. But so far, the City Watch books 
have really done it for me, and Carrot's one of the main reasons for that. There's other really funny characters, but I don't know. For some reason, Carrot is just so endearing and so funny to me. So go read that series, guys. At, at the very least, read The City Watch. The first book is Guards, Guards. It's well worth your time just to experience Carrot. All right, so we're going to move on to A Song of Ice on Fire, and for this one, guys, we are going to talk about Tyrion Lannister, another one that is just absolutely one of the best comic reliefs in a book series. And he's got a serious side to him as well, but even his serious side can be very humorous at times. He gets really sarcastic at times, and some of the things that come from his mouth are just really, really funny. And he's grown up with a very hard life as well. He is very short of stature and has been called a dwarf and an imp all his life in a very rude way, and he's been ostracized by his family in many respects. His dad doesn't pay him much mind, neither does his brother or sister. They just, they kind of reject him. And so he's learned to be by himself for so much of his life and to, and to take a very dark and witty outlook on life. So you will find a lot of wit in his humor. A lot of it's very dry and sarcastic, but sometimes it's just laugh out loud funny. And there's also some inner monologue moments that happen with his character that are really funny as well. So I highly recommend A Song of Ice and Fire to you guys. Tyrion is just a fantastic character and he's really endearing. And there's a reason that there was a book written solely about the wit and wisdom of Tyrion Lannister. Because he is just that witty and just that funny. So yeah, check him out. If you have not already experienced Tyrion, you're missing out. And I'm sure many of you know what I'm talking about already, so I'm probably preaching to the choir. All right, so the next one on this list comes from The Lord of the Rings, and that would be Meriadoc Brandybuck, otherwise known as Merry, and he is one of several wonderful fellows on the Fellowship that goes to help Frodo dispose of the ring. Mary has a very comical outlook on life and he's just very happy and very free. And sometimes he's a little dense and naive and he can be fairly clumsy at times as well. And it's funny to hear some of the things that he says, but also to see some of the things that he does and the things that he stumbles upon. And I, I just absolutely love Mary. He's such a great character. And Mary and Pippin, the two of them are a very great comical duo with some of the things that they get up to. So I definitely recommend the Lord of the Rings series to you if you've not read it. Uh, but Mary is probably my favorite comic relief in that series. All right, so we're going to move on to the Sandman graphic novel series. And my favorite comic relief here is Matthew the Raven. Matthew was once human, and after he died, he made the choice instead of passing on to become a raven in service to Morpheus. He is also one that has a really sarcastic outlook on life, and... Sometimes his humor borders very heavily on the cynical, and it, it's just so fun to read some of the things that come out of his mouth. I'm just there for it every time. I personally think Patton Oswalt was a great choice to voice him in the Sandman TV series, even though a lot of fans don't like it. I, I thought he was perfect for Matthew's character. So I highly recommend the Sandman series by Neil Gaiman. And Matthew the Raven is such a great comic relief. All right, we're getting close, guys. We're down to the last two. The next one is Amos Burton from the Expanse series by James S.A. Corey. 
He has a very dry and stoic kind of humor. He can be sarcastic at times as well. And he loves to be edgy. He loves to just get right there on the edge and make people uncomfortable, especially when he's poking fun at two people who have decided to shack up together, if you know what I mean. Amos is just a magnificent character. One of my absolute favorite characters in all of fiction. Just some of the stuff he says, you're like, <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, that's awkward. But it, it's great. It's great. Awkward humor is just some of the best for getting you out of your comfort zone. And I like to read characters that get me out of my comfort zone. So, uh, yeah, Amos Burton, fantastic character. I highly recommend reading The Expanse. All right, guys, and the last one on this list. And, guys, like I said, this is not exhaustive. There's plenty of other characters that I've laughed out loud at. But uh, the last one on this list is Arcandius Moog from Kings of the Wild by Nicholas Ames. And this whole series is called The Band. There's only two books out right now. And I think that Moog might show up in all of them. I don't know for sure. I've not read Bloody Rose yet. But uh, Arcandius Moog is a wizard, an alchemist, and he's brought into this ragtag band of warriors and mercenaries for one last hurrah to go and fight monsters and to rescue the daughter of one of the members of this band. And everybody in this group is old and Arcandius Moog is just so funny. He's one of those that has that dry, pervy humor and just says things at the right time to make everyone uncomfortable. And he gives the impression of being kind of scatterbrained and not quite all there at times. And it's just funny to hear some of the things he says. And some of the things he says just seem completely out of left field. And you're just sitting there just laughing hysterically every time. And so, yeah, Arcandius Moog is a fantastic character. I highly recommend reading Kings of the Wild. If you enjoy it, check out the next book in the series, Bloody Rose, as well, which I still need to do. And the third book hasn't come out yet, but it probably will soon, I'm guessing. So, all right, guys, well, that is it. I would love to know who some of your favorite comic reliefs are in books. You know, think about those characters that just really made you laugh out loud. And especially, tell me about characters that kept you laughing for several minutes. You know, it's just that constant little giggle that you get every now and again when you're still thinking about what that character said and you're not able to focus on the next part of the book because you're still thinking about that thing that they said and you're just giggling hysterically. Please tell me about those characters. I would love to know who yours are. And maybe they're some of the same ones that I came up with. Maybe they're different ones. So let me know. Until next time, guys, make sure you read more books, and I will talk with you soon. And I'd like to give a special shout-out to my patrons. Thank you so much for all you do to support my channel.